Hi, and thanks for taking a look at ProGroups. This is another tool in the ProCore tool set designed to make the workflow within Unity even more fluid, simple, and save you lots of time and sanity, as always. So ProGroups is geared towards people who have especially large scenes, uh, even for simpler scenes as well, it's great. But especially once you have something pretty large going on, like for example, this Angry Bot scene where there's quite a bit happening. It can be visually cluttered very easily. It allows you to create groups of objects without modifying anything in the hierarchy and instantly turn any of them on or off. So you can both turn them visually on and off or simply freeze them so that they can't be edited at all. And this means when you're making a large drag selection or uh, just selecting items individually, you won't accidentally delete or change or modify at all anything that's been frozen via the panel over here. You also notice that the Pro Groups panel, as with all the Procore tools, is designed specifically to fit in nice and simply, uh, nice and tightly into the Unity GUI. It looks good and it also doesn't take up a lot of space. You have lots of room left to do your actual developing. Uh, with this, we have a, I think, pretty neat method of utilizing it where you have, first of all, just the list of groups that you create on your own. So you do that simply by selecting several objects, or any amount, or even none at all. Let's say I want this group here, or these items, and I want to put these into a group so I can quickly toggle them on and off, or freeze them, or select them as well. So I just select them first, I'll type a name in here, let's say uh, my crates, and hit the plus button, and instantly I have a group there, I can turn these on or off. This is a good example, uh, it looks like I missed a crate down back there, so let's turn these back on. If I had unselected these, I can click on the selection arrow here, and it will automatically select all the items in that group. Then I'll also select the crate that I missed, and hit on the, the little gear icon in the top right to go into the Modify panel for Pro Groups. Now we have some different options. I can instantly change the names of any of the groups. I can delete them with a the red button. One thing to note is that when you delete a, a group, if you click on it, it'll tell you this as well. It's not actually deleting any of the objects, of course. It's only removing the group. And anything in that group that was either hidden or frozen will become unhidden and unfrozen, so you don't have anything uh, lost in your scene or never able to edit again, just in case. I'm going to cancel that. I don't actually want to delete that, of course. The other option you have is to push all selected items into the current group. So I can click on this little button there, and it'll ask me, and yes, I do want to do that. And now all those items are in that group. I've updated it. I can also move things up. So if I think this My Crates group I'm going to want to have higher up, I can move it up like that. Looking at a few specific instances in this level of items you might want to turn on and off to make your level developing even easier. Number one, obviously this rain out here. It's really getting in the way as I'm trying to develop. So I can simply turn that off no longer causing me any visual pain and then perhaps also the scaffolding simply turn that off instantly either just the lights or the geometry as well one thing with using pro groups is that unlike the hierarchy you aren't limited to having an item in only one uh, essentially group at a time now you can have an item in multiple groups no problem at all so up here I have crates all and I also have just crates large barrels barrels and crates. All sorts of different options I can turn on and off at any time. So for example, if I turn all of these back on, and then let's say I turn off all the barrels and crates, but maybe I actually want barrels back on. I can do just that. And now only I only have the barrels showing, but not the crates. So they can be in both groups at the same time. And this means I can freeze them, hide them, or again, very handy, just select them all at once as just popped up here. If you try to select any group that has items that are also frozen or hidden, it'll make sure and warn you about that so you aren't accidentally moving things around without knowing it or editing, etc. So I can say select anyway or cancel that selection. It's probably the safer idea so I can make sure and turn those things back on before I try and select them. Another great use for pro groups is if you have, for example, lots of particles in your level. This one doesn't in particular, but it can be extremely useful to instantly turn on and off all those particles just so they aren't getting in the way. So I've created a group for these and I can turn them off and back on. So it's just one less thing getting in the way visually. The same for perhaps all these light structures in here or in general all the static details. 
oops, turn this off. And now I have a much cleaner visual level that I can work with. And this is extremely handy if you're working on something that you just need to look at the basics of the level, get the, you know, the flow and the design down, and you don't want to have these things getting in the way and cluttering up the visuals. So that's the basics of Pro Groups. It's just a great tool for working within a large level and again, even small ones. It's always best to start with this and make sure it doesn't end up cluttered later on. Um, and one thing you've probably already noticed is that I'm actually running this within the play mode. And I'm doing that just because of the way uh, Angry Bots works. Normally you'd use this in the regular editor. However, it does show that you can use Pro Groups entirely in game if you wanted to. So this could be useful in case you wanted to in your game have items turning on and off or being frozen. Uh, lots of neat uses for that. And of course you do get the full source code with this so you can modify it however you want for your game. So thanks for looking and if you have any comments or questions at all, make sure you drop by Pro Tools for Unity3D.com or just check any of the links that I'm sure will be accompanying this video. Probably one of the best spots you can drop by is the Unity Forms itself, where there will of course be a release thread for Pro Groups and all the Pro Core tools in general. Thanks for looking.